Work with some of the biggest uh, names in music, including one of my all-time favorites, Marvin Gaye. Yeah. yeah. Man, what was that like working with Marvin Gaye? Uh, it was pretty amazing. You know, you grow up listening to someone's music and all of a sudden you're playing with that artist. That's like a dream come true. Um, this was a quick story. I was in rehearsal and um, we were playing. There was like 25, 26 people in the band, including my brother and my cousin, three of us playing percussion. So Marvin has his back to us. We're playing and that song, that, uh, the conga beat, this is the first thing I learned on the congas and it was like, Mother, mother. Right, that song? All right, that song is like, hey, uh, yeah. uh, 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 yeah, so it felt yeah. good to me. Yeah. So I'm playing, and all of a sudden, I, I was playing, and I had three congas, I was playing, and I was like, oh, wait, oh, I, I feel, okay, we're gonna, we, we gonna start doing it. Uh, yeah, we start playing. So that song only is just that one conga drum, but it felt good to me. So I played the other drum as well. I went, mm, mm, ah, uh, uh, right? And I hit that drum. And Marvin is a very soft-spoken man. And so he's singing what's going on, and all of a sudden he said, stop, hold on. And he just yelled, and everyone's like, you know, they've never heard him yell before. I never heard him yell. I just met him. And he yelled, and he said, stop. And then he turned around and faced the whole group, and he said, someone played an extra beat. And I was like, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. <laughs> so... Um, I said, excuse me, uh, Mr. Gay, I'm so sorry. Uh, my brother will never do this again. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> I apologize. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my brother owed me. I got him the gig. So he's like, I'm sorry, I'll never do it again. <laughs> yeah.